Thanksgiving traditions in Appalachia are much like the rest of the country. Of course, there's going to be a turkey. There's going to be a lot of food. You're usually going to eat with family. Maybe somebody will be watching a football game. Maybe somebody else will be watching the parade. All very similar to the rest of the country. Now, individual families, of course, just like across the rest of the country, have a lot of unique little traditions that they do within their family. But as far as the widespread ones in Appalachia, most of them are very similar to the rest of the country. Today I want to talk about a unique kind of one that's a tradition in Appalachia. However, it's also held in other parts of the country as well. I know that. But the thing is called a turkey shoot. Now you think on the first hand that sounds like first hearing it, if you're not familiar with it, if you are familiar with it, then you already know all about it. You'll think, oh, well that sounds like they shoot a turkey probably to cook for uh, Thanksgiving dinner. No, it's not really that. I've got some excerpts from some books that I'm going to read you. We'll start with the Dictionary of Smoky Mountain English, one of my favorites. So this is the entry they have, the book dictionary has for turkey shoot. Turkey shoot is a noun, a marksmanship competition, the winner of which is awarded a turkey as a prize. In 1972, Cooper, North Carolina Mountain Folklore, beef and turkey shoots and rooster fights were great recreational events in those days. 1997, Montgomery Collection, turkey and ham shoots were common. Beef shoots were usually conducted with rifles, while modern turkey shoots usually are conducted with shotguns. The rules and methods of scoring are also different, depending on who's, who's, doing, who's in charge, who's, who's running the turkey shoot. The other excerpt is from Foxfire 5. In the earliest shoots, the participants would actually shoot with flint lock or cap lock rifles, in turn at a live turkey, and the one that killed it first won the match and the turkey. Later people began shooting at targets with shotguns and the prizes were live turkeys. More recently, with fewer and fewer turkeys being raised and the almost universal shift to shotguns instead of rifles, turkey shoots have been used more as fundraising events with the prizes ranging from hams to bags of groceries to cases of beer or soft drinks. If any turkeys are involved, they are usually frozen, the winner often receiving a coupon which he can redeem for the prize at a local participating grocery store. The targets the contestants shoot at are usually 3 by 5 index cards, one card per man per shot, and the winner is determined either by counting the number of each shotgun each shot each gun put through its card or by measuring to see which man's gun put a shot closer to an X drawn from corner to corner on the card. Matches can go on all day. The sponsor announces at the beginning of each match what the prize is going to be. We're going to shoot off a ham now, for example, and how much it will cost to enter, usually one to two dollars per chance. The men who want to shoot pay the entry fee, and when enough have entered to pay for the cost of the prize and earn the sponsor a few dollars profit, the contestants step up to a rail and shoot, in turn, at the numbered cards they have been assigned, each man getting one shot. Then a runner goes and collects the cards and brings them in for the judging and the awarding of the prize. So as you can see from the uh, excerpts that I read, a turkey shoot is not really about shooting turkeys. It's a, a contest. It's a marksmanship contest. Now they do still have them in my area of Appalachia, although not near as common as in days gone by. And typically today it is used as a fundraiser. So maybe it'll be they're taking up money uh, to, for, for a benefit for someone who maybe is sick or maybe it's for an organization for, for a local nonprofit or something like that. Or maybe it's just to cover the cost of, as they were saying, and they need to raise enough money to give those prizes to buy the hams or the turkeys or, or whatever it is. In my area, I have not heard of anyone giving away cases of beer. It would be a ham or a turkey. And, and as the um, entry suggests, the turkey would likely be frozen. And it might not even be the actual turkey. It might just be a gift certificate to go to a local store and, and turn in and pay for your turkey that way. Uh, and of course, there's monetary prizes as well. So just an interesting thing. And so you'll have to tell me, do they also do this kind of marksmanship contest to, to benefit something? But it seems like they are, I guess, because of tradition, kind of held this time of the year where they can call it a turkey shoot, even though they're technically not shooting turkeys. Now, I have a great story that Pap told me from days when he was a, a small child, and they did have these contests very often, not just at Thanksgiving. 
So when Pap was about 13 years old, he had a friend, Kenny Flemons, who was Kenny Fleming, who was about 16 years old, one of Pap's good friends. Well, one day they were just kind of hanging around there, doing whatever they were doing, and Pap Wade, uh, Pap's father, told them that they, he'd heard there was going to be a turkey shoot over at Chester Dockery's, and maybe they should go because Kenny turned out he was like a good shot, a really good shot. So Pap and Kenny lived in Pine Log, that's where they lived. So once Papa Wade had told them about it, they decided they'd go over to Chester's and just check it out and see what was happening. So they walked on through the gap of the mountain on down to Smyrna where Chester lived. Now once they got there to Chester's, they realized there was some sharp shooters there, some really tough competition. But Kenny decided anyway, since he was really good, that he would enter the contest. Pap said, you ain't never seen nothing like it. He kept shooting the targets and beating everybody there until they just kept lowering and making the targets smaller and smaller and smaller. He said they went from shooting at 22 holes all the way to a straight pin and Kenny was still hitting the mark. Well, Pap said he reckoned everybody finally just gave in to the fact that, that Kenny was going to win. There wasn't nothing to be done. He had actually already won. They were just trying to test his ability as they continued to, low, to make the target smaller and smaller and smaller as they were shooting. But Pap said best he could remember, he knew there was no turkey. There was no turkeys nowhere in this country in that time, he said. Uh, no one that really raised them, and the wild ones had long been killed out. So there just was no turkeys in the general area. But best he could remember, Kenny went home with a rooster. So as I said, in those days, these kind of contests were really common. In fact, Pap said Chester Dockery had one just about every weekend, every weekend. I'm sure part of that was the excitement, just, you know, in those days things were different, so you were looking for forms of entertainment. So being able to get together with a group of friends and, and laugh and go on and have a little contest, I'm sure was really attractive for a lot of people. So once he told me that Chester really had them about every weekend in those days, I said, well, did Kenny go back? Did he did he go back and win his you know win another rooster or show him what else he could do? Pap said no. Kenny never went back. He was too bashful. I hope you enjoyed hearing about the tradition of turkey shoots in Appalachia. I know turkey shoots are much more widespread than just here, so I hope you'll leave me a comment and let me know if it's something that you're familiar with. It certainly is, though, a Thanksgiving tradition in the mountains of Appalachia.